Well, here we are by the grace of God. As I noted earlier, this vast and magnificent conspiracy of time, history, fate, circumstance, and seemingly in this mystery, there's a hand of God and it brings us together. And now we stand here this day to celebrate the grand mystery of God's gracious love. The moment she told me that she loves you was the moment that I knew that you both would get married one day because when Tanya loves someone, she doesn't just love them blatantly, she loves them forever. And I'm glad that she chose you to be here forever and that you chose her to be your forever. Tanya, I can't believe we're finally here after almost eight years together. I can think of no better person I'd want to share this moment with. Tanya, I admire your ambition, and I promise to always help you in reaching your life goals, whether publishing a book or starting a business. It's my dream to be there for yours. I am so happy to be standing here today in front of our family and friends to celebrate our love for one another. Over the last eight years, we've had moments of soaring happiness, of great adventures, of uncontrollable laughter. I promise to always love you, of course, but also to show my love to you every day, whether just saying I love you before bed taking you on spontaneous dates, or remembering your love language. <laughs> I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you, Tanya. Thank you for always being supportive and for loving me unconditionally. I promise I will do my best to do the same for you, to lift you up when you are down, to make you laugh when you're upset, to bring you rubios when you're not feeling so great. I promise I will motivate you, encourage you, and be a pillar of strength for you as you've been for me. I love you and I can't wait to experience more of life together with you. today I said marriage isn't easy it's what you make of it but learning more about your vows and what you guys said to each other today I was like that's right you guys really are a great match and that's what God does he brings two people together and joins them to one and brings a sound foundation and you guys are gonna like be celebrating your 10-year anniversary, your 20-year anniversary. Here on out, girl. When I first met Max, I thought he was a complete weirdo. And when I found out that he was the dreaded boyfriend, I got a little worried. But over time, I realized that my sister picked Max for a reason. And I began to see that for myself. He's a very hardworking and caring man. 
and I appreciate all the effort he puts into making sure the people around him are comfortable. He is a genuine person. As someone once said, marriage is not about finding a person you can live with. It's about finding the person you can't live without. My best friend has found that person. Max, you are like always the helper, the one that people can always call when they need somebody. You're always gonna be that person. And man, if we're cousins, we couldn't ask for somebody better to get married to our cousin, right? So like, Tanya, thank you for letting us be a part of your celebration. Max and Tanya, by the grace of God, through the love of family and friends, the divine mystery, and the power of goodness, your heart's desire is realized. Now and forevermore, you are husband and wife, which means, as never quite before, <clears throat> you may kiss. 